Hello everyone, this is Diana from RaisingALargeFamily.com. I'm just going to do a quick video here to uh, show you how we do our meal planning. Sometimes in less than five minutes I'm able to get the week's planning done. So this right here is my, um, my weekly planner. It is a happy planner. And I bought this section for meal planning here. So what I did was I took some blank pieces of paper and I write down the, you know, the course and breakfast. And then I write down every possible breakfast that we might have. And then I also write down just the basic list of ingredients, not the quantity, but just the basic list of ingredients that we would put in that meal. So, um, so I have a list here that I can go off of when I am making my, my meal plan. Because my, my mind, when I think of what I want to have for breakfast, I get stuck in a rut and I will have one or two different things that will just stay in my head and I won't think past that. And so this helps me think past that. So I have breakfast and then I sat down and I also figured out lunch, snacks, chicken dinners, which honestly, a lot of the dinners we also use for lunch as well since we homeschool. So we have chicken lunches, um, miscellaneous meats, beef lunch, uh, dinners, and uh, meatless options as well. So what I do is on, usually on Sunday, sometimes, uh, it, I guess it really it depends on my week. So this week, here it is Tuesday, and I didn't go shopping for this week's courses yet. So we're working off of leftovers that are in our freezers. And I'm going to go grocery shopping um, tonight for the next week and a half's worth of meals. So I will start here with Wednesday. And I would write down breakfast. So, um, and then I'm going to go through and skip. So I'm going to do Thursday, Friday, so I'm not going to do my whole meal plan here in front of you, but I'm just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. So breakfast, say I'm going to do toast and eggs. Well, I'm getting a little low on bread. So I would have um, another piece of paper here next to me so that when I choose toast and eggs, I'm going to write down bread. Now it's only for one meal that I'm thinking for bread, so I'm just going to leave it as bread. And you'll understand what I'm saying when, here when I get to another one of bread. <laughs> I don't mean to confuse you. Um, and then eggs. We have lots of eggs. We have chickens. So I'm not going to right now write down eggs, although I do have freeloader chickens at times. So sometimes we do have eggs on our list. Um, we're going to have cracked wheat tomorrow for breakfast. I buy that by the 50-pound bag, so um, I don't need to add that to my list. But maybe we're low on um, milk or cream for our coffee or something like that. And so I'd write down cream um, and then milk. So, um, say, say, I say, I'm going to, I'm going to get all my, the rest of my breakfast is written down really quickly. Um, just for brevity's sake here. And then lunches, I do a lot of Instapot soups. So, um, I, I dehydrate a lot of our veggies from over the summertime. And so I have a lot of those, uh, in storage in my garage. So I can just throw stuff together in a pot and I don't even have to have fresh veggies for that. <clears throat> so I do do this about twice a week. Um, Chili is really popular, although I do have a lot of our family that is allergic to tomatoes. So it gives them acid stomach almost instantly. So when I have chili, we also have other options as well for those that are allergic to the tomatoes. So that is something where if you look at my list, um, I do have some allergies in our family that, you know, take some of the, a lot of the common meals off of our meal list that the average person would see. But I mean like this, I very, very rarely have this because the tomatoes. Um, um, anyways, I'm, I digress. But to tortilla roll-ups. So say we're going to have tortilla roll-ups for lunch here tomorrow. So tortilla roll-ups. Well, I have zero tortillas and zero uh, sandwich meat. So I'm going to put sandwich meat and tortillas. And then maybe tomorrow we're going to have PB&Js. Oops, lunch, PB and J's. Okay, so that means I'm gonna need bread. So what I do here is bread, and I put it down that I need it for two meals. Because I we use an entire loaf of bread for a um, meal. So that way I know to pick up two loaves. And I will go through and I'll make my lunches for every single one of the days that I'm planning for. Then I'm gonna go to uh, dinner And I'm going to do the same thing. So dinner, 
chicken and rice and we're low on say broccoli so I'll put that right here on my list but this way I don't have to think about what I want for dinner I can just go through my little list stick the item that I want in the spot write it on my little shopping list and I have done this in the car at um, we have a cash and carry here that I shop at a lot I've done this at cash and carry a lot where I just sit out there and it takes me five minutes to get a next week to two weeks worth of meals plans I have my little list and I can grab it and go so I do this most of the time on Sunday evenings um, when I'm not with it, then I do it in the parking lot. <laughs> but I keep these meal plans, these meal lists inside of my planner. So I have them with me anytime I go. So uh, so I'm always prepared. And that really, really helps with um, saving money and organizing my day. Because now I can look and see that I need to get the chicken out of the freezer. Or... Um, Mainly it's getting the meat out of the freezer. That's my biggest problem because I never remember to do that. And I don't own a microwave, so I can't exactly soften it in the microwave. So it requires me to be a little bit more on the ball if I'm going to follow my meal plans. So that's about it. Um, I also keep a list of snacks because I do have a lot of little kids that are constantly growing. And they need those snacks to snack on. Um, they come to me half an hour after a meal and want to eat something. <laughs> so I buy my fruit by the case. Um, bananas, apples, all the, the traditional types of fruit that I let them snack on. And we make a lot of popcorn. And I also buy my cucumbers by the case and let them have cucumbers and ranch. So um, that's about it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on uh, my post. You can also... Um, feel free to even send me an email. I, I answer my emails, believe it or not. So um, that's about it. So I would like to thank you for watching this video and I hope I've helped some of you moms out. I know for the longest time, um, it, it took me a long time to come to this system and it just, it's just kind of baffles me because it's such a simple system that I cannot believe I didn't think of doing this earlier, but has saved me tons and tons of time and tons of money as well. So good luck to all of you, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.